guys, it's been a while, but we're back to you again with another video. And today, we're gonna make make it smoked salmon on cedar plant. So what I got right here is, went to my fish market, and I got me smoked salmon right here, fillet, not the whole salmon, and it's got the skin on. Um, got me some seasonings that I'm gonna use today, some various seasonings. Um, we got the brown mustard, some Cajun salt, some lemon zest seasoning, pepper, things like that. And I'll kind of be going over them as I put them in. Um, I got some shrimp on my pair with it today as well. So what I'm going to do today, um, I've got two gloves on, but I'm going to take one off to handle the seasonings. Um, so I'm going to be touching all on the bottles and things like that. You know, always make sure your hands are clean. What I did with the salmon is I washed it off and patted it dry before um, I put it on this cutting board. So what we're going to do first is since I have about five people in my house that are going to be eating today, I'm going to go ahead and cut it in individual kind of like fillet, smaller fillet cuts, and but they'll all go on the cutting board and I'll be throwing them in a bowl over there. So let's go ahead and go ahead and cut. Got you a sharp knife. I'm using my Dexter chef's knife today and I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut through that skin. Skin can be a little tough. You know, want to kind of get you wear your home. You don't have to be too uniform. Right there, it's two. Come down. Do another cut. Kind of keep them together. That's how they're going to go on the board. This just makes it easier. You don't have to do this. Just makes it easier when you you know, cause you know when you cook the salmon, it's flaky. It tends to um, want to break up if you're cutting it, no matter how sharp your knife is. You can skin this if you want also be, um, before you cut it like this. However you want to do it, but today this is how I'm going to do it. This is how we're going to eat it. I can cook it different ways, but I prefer to do it like that. So go ahead and put my knife to the side. Take these fillets. I'm just gonna throw them over here in the bowl. Just throw them in there. Throw them on in the bowl, and what I'll be doing next is to make a marinade for them. We're gonna make a marinade for them today. These are some thick cuts, as you can see. You can see they're pretty thick. Thick cuts right there. Nice salmon got from the fish market. Right there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cutting board. Don't worry about it. Give me a second because I do not need it anymore. I'll just throw it over here on the side. Get that out the way. Take my bowl over here. Let's go ahead and get some, some marinade going. So what I do, I got about a cup of brown sugar right here. Got this cup of brown sugar. I'm just going to put it in here. This is dark brown sugar, by the way. You can use light brown sugar if you want. Got some olive oil to kind of give it a little, you know, make it a little runny a little bit. That way it can spread out. I don't uh, really measure but as a go, but if you want to know, that was about an eighth of a cup of olive oil that I threw in there. Um, what I'm going to do now, say so I got some zesty Weber lemon seasoning. And I'll probably shake out, this is it's almost about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half in it. I'm just going to put the rest in there, you know. It's just lemon zest seasoning, that's really what it is. Use the rest of that, you can tell I use that a lot. Okay, I got a look, I got some dill weed. Dill always goes good on salmon. And I'm, a couple shakes, not too much overbearing, a couple shakes. Right there. Um, I have some black pepper. And I'm gonna do a couple shakes of the black pepper. About a half a teaspoon if you want to really measure it out. Half a teaspoon. When you you know start cooking a lot, you kind of know how much you're putting in by shaking it. Um, not a fourth of a cup of, of kosher salt, but this is about a tablespoon um, of kosher salt. Throw that in there. And 
I had some spicy Cajun salt. Since I got the salt in there, a lot of sweetness, I'm gonna kinda equal it out with the salt. Put a little Cajun salt in there. It's about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of that salt. It's more than a teaspoon. Okay, so we got my wife uh, correcting me. It looks like more than a teaspoon, but it's still gonna be good. So what I have here is some sweet and spicy mustard. You know, people put this a lot of pork and beef. I put it on my fish um, sometimes. Give it a little sweet and spicy taste. Not too much, because a lot of people, so I'm gonna shake out. It's about a, let's do about a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon right there of that. And finish off just a little soy sauce. If I had to measure, that'd be about that'd be about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, take my whisk, I'm gonna mix this all up. Kind of crush it up. You got some chunks in there. Chunks it up. And if you got to, add a little more olive oil. So I'm mixing this up. I did add a little more olive oil. Like I said, uh, here or there. I had about an eighth. I probably added another eighth of a cup in there. Maybe a little more. Just to get it maybe kind of like that, you know. Not too runny, but what happens is just put it all on that fish. Check that out. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to bring my bowl over here near me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this all over the fish. Right there. All right. And if you excuse me for a minute, I'm gonna give me another glove. Well, I'll just do it with one glove. I can mix it with one glove. Let's put this on here. Kind of get it all over the fish. Rub it in there. If you need be. You just wanna get it on there because what it's gonna do, it's gonna, it's gonna sit in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna let it sit for about, maybe about an hour, hour and a half. You can let it sit all night if you want. Maybe about an hour, hour and a half, and I'll go ahead and I'll be getting the smoker ready. Um, turn that on and getting ready to put it on the smoker while this is sitting in here. What I'll do, I'll throw maybe some lemon juice in there. That's about a half a lemon right there. Get that lemon juice in there real good. That kind of, that helped that brown sugar right there. You want to make sure you cover everything. So stay tuned. And when we come back, we'll be getting ready to put these on the planks and everything. They should be well soaked in by now. Thank you. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? So we're out here. We got our salmon ready to go on the cedar planks and go on the smoker. Um, got my salmon over here. Got my wood. And today we're going to be cooking on a new smoker I picked up. Weber Summit, and it's going to be similar to the Komodo or similar to the Green Egg. Um, same price range you just about. So what I'm going to be doing today, guys, I'm going to be separating these and putting them on two of them, actually. You can put them all on one, but I'm going to put them on two. So right now I'm sitting about in my smoke, about 243 degrees in the smoke range still, as you can see on this dial, but I have my other dial. It's for just a great temperature. It's at 246. You can smoke anywhere from 225 all the way up to 350 if you want. 350 is really not the smoke temp, but some people like to do it in about 30 minutes. I like to have a little smoke color on mine, a little darker color. So today, guys, I'm actually cooking with some Kingsford applewood. It has the applewood bits. You want to smoke with uh, applewood when you're doing fish or some kind of fruit wood, nothing real heavy like, heart, like hickory or mesquite. Okay, guys? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start getting these, and I want to lose my smoke too much. Uh, my heat too much, so I'll just go ahead and sip the first one. I'm going to take these out here, and you can see they're good and coated. I'm going to set that on the plank. I'm going to set that on the plank. Okay. I'm going to drip that off a little bit right there. Always clean up after you finish. I'm going to do about maybe about four on this one and I'll do three on the other one. Keep them, I keep them a little separate. That way I can some of the smoke and get in the other one. A little lemon on one of the, on each of these. 
All right. Now I'm gonna set this one. Set my limbs over here. Set this one off to the side. Right over here near my beard. And then what I'll do now is set this other one. Put it right here. You can put anything on cedar plant right here. I just bought these really from a local grocery store. You know, people have a lot better ones. You know, you want to spend a little extra money. You got some real, you can do on some real, I mean, straight cut from the tree, <laughs> cedar. All right, so I got those on. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take off these gloves. I don't want to touch my grill with all this stuff on there and everything. Set these gloves off to the side. And right now, I'm doing about, it went up about 262, but I'm still in the smoke range. Like I said, this is uh, maybe my second time smoking with this, but I got it pretty much down where I need to keep it. So I'm going to open this up. Got a good smoke in there. Put some lemons on here. On the other one, as I almost forgot. All right. Some lemons on there. We got just enough lemons, guys. Look at that. So let's go ahead and set the first one on there. All right, guys. We're gonna set the first one on this grate on this side, and I'm gonna set the other one right next to it, guys. And that's what they're gonna look like. I have a. Uh, probe temperature gauge I'm trying to get it up to about maybe 245 degrees um, 225 is really rare if uh, not 225 excuse me guys 125 is rare 135 is medium rare 145 as you can see it's pretty much cooked good and I'm get about 140 145 but not too high I might stop at 1 2 135 just and make sure it's keeping good and tender so once this is on, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this back. Guys, I'll check it in about 30 minutes, maybe. And the halfway point, I'm shooting for an hour. And I'm going to get my temp back. And what I'm going to do, guys, to get this temp back, go ahead and lift the top right here of the, the little um, indicator right there of my smoke vent. With this one, you can just lift it up instead of just using the top. And it'll climb up here in maybe less than five minutes. And get back up there and I'll shut it right before it gets to the temp I want and it'll keep climbing for a little bit but then it'll it'll go ahead and get there so we'll see y'all in about 30 minutes and we'll give it a check guys all right stay tuned all right guys we're back out here it's been about 30 minutes let's check I'm sitting about the 250 degree range on a great temp um, sitting about 235 right here on a higher temp so let's open up see what they look like looking pretty good guys no need to base these if you can you want to let's just take the biggest one i'm gonna check his temperature looking like 112 111 check one over here 113 112 we got a little while ago say so you can crank up the heat if you want but if not just leave it as it be and go ahead and close it bring your temp back up open it up bring the temp back up and we'll check it another 15 20 minutes uh, hopefully it'll be ready to go all right all right guys so we're finished got these bad boys up about 135 137 depending on how big they were uh, so you see how it's cooked out still look very moist guys got the lemons cooked in them and what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and plate this and a lot of you guys saying hey man will you taste it next time so guess what I'll do it this time. So I shouldn't have a problem put, pulling this up. And you can see no skins left on the board. Didn't stick real bad. I'm gonna plate it right here. I got some small new potatoes and baby little russets and some fresh spinach and baby bella mushrooms with garlic right there. And then what I'm gonna do right here, I got some shrimp I put on there. Didn't show you guys I did that. And I'm gonna lay that somewhere over here. Don't laugh about my plating skills just did it like that and we're going to pair it off with some some good old local beer community beer straight out of dallas texas and let's go ahead and give it a taste guys go ahead and get a fork how about i give the camera woman a taste and no she can thanks. tell me i'm good okay well let's see there everybody wants to see me taste it so let's taste it all right mm, that was real good <laughs> of course real good now Y'all might not believe me. I'm gonna give her a little piece. Anyway. Oh my gosh, Grace, she, that is you so ain't nice gotta to see her. See she can hold the camera still. 
How am I gonna eat the? It is pretty yummy. Pretty yummy, guys. <laughs> and there we go. Smoked salmon on the cedar, cedar plank. Ready to go. Stay tuned for more videos in the future, guys. I know it's been a while, but I promise I'm going to keep up with them this time. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. If you got any questions, please like, subscribe, and share the video or post a question. And be nice. All right? Until again, toothpicks. Thank you.